Hey everyone, it's Kayla with fitnessblender.com. Today's workout was going to be a lower body pure strength routine with body weight supersets. For equipment, make sure to grab a moderate to heavy set of dumbbells. For reference, I will be using a set of 20 pound dumbbells. We will be doing an A, B superset type format with 45 seconds on and 15 seconds of rest in between each set. I've included two water breaks as well as your warm up and cool down. So when you're ready, go ahead and let's get started. All right, blenders, we're gonna head into our warm up. Let's start off with our traditional 30 seconds on, no rest in between, and we're gonna cycle through these exercises once. So whenever we do that, I like to remind you, you don't have to do your full range of motion the first time around. The second time around is when you really wanna wake up those joints, wake up your muscles before we head into our pure strength circuit. So no weights for now, just have them off to the side. I'm gonna start the timer. We're gonna get a 10 second countdown going. 10 seconds is on the clock. Let's start with a reverse lunge with a torso twist over the front leg, okay? Reverse lunge, really open up that torso and twist towards the leg that's in front, okay? Not only does this open up your core, but it also really stretches out the torso and hip region, which is really important for the work we're gonna put in today. Okay, get ready. We're gonna take it down to the ground, onto our hands and knees. Okay, hands and knees. Let's do a glute kickback, but leave it there and open that hip so that you're really engaging the whole front part of your body. Let's switch to the other side. Glute kickback, press that heel to the ceiling as you rotate it open. Okay, take your time with it. We're gonna switch back and forth. Remember, we have two rounds of this, so don't worry if you didn't get it this time. Okay, come back up. We're going to go into a nice deep squat with a combination good morning. Okay, squat and good morning. Let's turn to the side. Let's get a good view of the four format of the technique that I want to emphasize, right? Stick those glutes out, soft, soft knee bend. All right, last one. Let's head off this first round with some butt kicks. Anyone who's worked out with me before knows I don't like to jump into my cardio. Sometimes I just wanna get my range of motion going, okay? Then when you're ready, go ahead and kick the booty. Light on your toes. And let's get ready to repeat one more time. Reverse lunge, torso twist, towards the leg in the front. Okay? Now that we're a little warmed up, try and hit those deeper ranges of motion before we head into this pure strength circuit. Get ready, take it down to the ground. Hands and knees. Remember, glute kick back, press that heel to the ceiling as you rotate it open to get that hip stretch. Switch sides, left heel up to the ceiling, keep that knee bend, open it up. Both palms are staying firmly on the ground. Almost done. Go ahead and stand right into our squats with the combo good morning. This kind of mimics the format of the upcoming routine we're about to do. So supersets meaning one exercise directly followed by another without taking a break. All right, last one. Let's head into our butt kickers. Okay. 
keep it going. Almost done. All right, Fitness Wonder. Grab your weights, set them right in front of you. Just for reference, I'm gonna be using a set of 20 pound dumbbells. We're gonna head into our first circuit, which is going to be that A, B, so exercise one, followed closely by exercise two, no break in between. At the end of those two exercises, you'll get a 15 second break. And then we're gonna repeat that one more time. So three groups of exercises total. Our first set of exercises are going to be straight leg or stiff leg deadlifts followed immediately by inchworm. So remember the first exercise is weighted. The second exercise is body weight or non-weighted. I'm gonna set the timer, get a 10 second countdown going. Here we go. Let's pick up our weights. Remember, good form picking up your weights, just like you have good form during the workout, right? Shoulders back, heels firmly on the ground. 45 seconds of squeezing and lifting, okay? Try and reach that flat back and keep those weights as close to your shins as possible. When I say soft bend in your knee, you don't wanna avoid the urge to slam your knees into hyperextension or keep them as stiff and straight as possible. You don't want that. Really, really soft bend. Okay, get ready. Drop your weights. 45 seconds of an inchworm. No rest, here we go. Inch your way down into an almost high plank position. Hold that high plank just for a few seconds and bring yourself back up. Of course, if you have the space, go ahead and do a traveling inchworm. Love those to mix things up a little bit. 20 seconds. We've got this. After this, you've got a 15 second break coming up. Okay, I'm just gonna drop it down, take my rest break here. You can take it kneeling, sitting, standing, whatever you need to do, but just get ready. Grab your weights again. We're right back to the stiff leg deadlifts. Okay, again, keeping those weights as close to your shins as possible, squeezing your glutes and your core the whole time. Engage your upper back as you're holding on to these weights. Don't over arch your upper back. Try and keep your rib cage in line with your belly button, in line with your hips, okay? Carefully drop the weight right into our last round of inchworms. Hold your high plank position, squeeze it, squeeze it back. So you might have noticed down at my lowest point in my inchworm, my hands are not directly below my shoulders. And that's what your technique should look like if you are doing, especially if you're doing a traveling inchworm. Because it really pulls in your lats, requires a lot of shoulder stability. Whew. All right, 15 seconds, we are all done with that set. Next set of exercises, a goblet, squats, so wide stance with and supersetting with glute pulses on the ground. So take that weight, okay? Hold it up like you have a goblet, take a wide, wide stance. You wanna sink down and squeeze back up. Take some, take a moment to check your knees, make sure your knees and your toes are turned out ever so slightly towards the opposite edges of the room.
coming up. Body weight exercise, superset, glute pulses. So drop your weights. Down on your hands and knees. Let's start with the right leg, okay? Straight leg, flat foot, pulsing it. Six inches up, six inches down. Keep it here. We're just sticking with the right leg for right now. Take a little bit of a breather if you need to. Rest your toe down. Bring it right back up. We're only here for 45 seconds. Check your core. Make sure it's still turned on. Almost done. Hang in there. Feel that burn. Embrace the burn. All right, awesome. 15 seconds. Don't take too long. Grab your weights. Right back to those goblet squats. Wide stance, feet turned out. <sighs> Weight is held at your chest. And don't allow the weight to pull you forward. Okay? Engage your core. Remain nice and tall. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's my hip. Popping, popping, popping. It's not a painful pop, but clicks and pops every time. Ooh. You start to notice certain little things about your body, especially with specific exercises. Drop that weight. We're gonna do the opposite glute pulse on the side that you did not do last time. So for me, that's my left. Six inches up, six inches down. Resting that toe down when you need a little bit of a breather and picking it right back up. We've got 20 seconds left. Hold it up there, you've got it. Tuck that core, engage your upper spine, push the floor away with your hands, and we're almost done. Awesome job, blenders. We have one more. We've got kettlebell swings. So take one of your dumbbells. We're going to be doing KB swings, followed by back down on the floor, glute up and overs. Okay? So... KB swings, really nice upper body posture, don't rely on momentum to swing this dumbbell or kettlebell forward, use your lower body and those hip thrusts to really, I like to think of it as a, as a scoop, but you're really Swinging down and scooping it back up like a hip hinge with a little bit of a scoop. Keep it going. A couple more seconds. Carefully drop your weight. Control it. Right back down on the ground. Hands and knees. Glute up and over. So let's take that right leg. Extend it back behind you. Lift it up and over towards the other side. Up and back. So bringing it up and over, up and back. I'd rather have three really good up and overs as opposed to 10 really, really hastily done ones where your back is collapsing and you're not squeezing. Okay, catch your breath. We have one more set of those kettlebell swings followed by the glute up and overs on the other side. So let's get ready. Grab your weight, get into position. I like to take a really wide stance. Give me some leg room for that kettlebell. Now, depending on where you're at in your fitness journey, doing a medium to heavy weight with your kettlebell really 
isn't doable. So if you need a body weight option, take one hand, place it in front of the other so that you can still engage your upper back. Get into position, swing your hands back, and work on thrusting with your hips. It doesn't matter what weight you have in your hands, the motion and the muscle activation is the same, right? Take it back down to the ground. Let's do those glute up and overs on the other side. So left leg extended, heel flexed, raise it up, lift it over, lift it up, and back to the starting point. You wanna think about tapping your toes down as lightly as you can, like you're a ballerina. Or you have a baby or a toddler right next to you and you don't wanna wake them up. That's how lightly and softly you're tapping. Okay, finish that rep. Take a well-deserved water break. When we come back, we're gonna do a very similar format, but reversing the order of these exercises. So keep your weights out. I'll see you soon. All right, Fitness Blender, we're gonna repeat that pure strength setup that we did before the water break. However, we're gonna be starting with the body weight exercises and then supersetting with the weighted exercises. So same format, same exercises, just switching around the order, reversing the order. Let's hit the timer, get our 10 second countdown going on, and then we're gonna be starting with our inchworm. Okay, make sure you have some space in front of you. Weights close by inchworm followed by those straight leg deadlifts right so straight leg on the way down walk your hands out hold that high plank for just a couple of seconds and bring it back in come all the way back up this is if you are standing in place Forty-five seconds. Like I said, same format, same timers, and everything. Grab your weights. Okay, I'm using both of my twenties for this one, and making sure my hips, knees, and toes are pointed forward keeping my weights as close to my body as possible. Almost done. Get ready to drop your weights and take a breast. Okay, here's our rest break. Put your weights off to the side. Probably remain standing for this one because we're gonna finish up with our inchworm and one more round of those deadlifts. Whew. Let's get this over with, right? I personally love inchworms, but I know these are not everyone's favorite. Well, let me preface by saying I love traveling inchworms. I just don't have the space to demonstrate that for you. And when you do these properly, when you really hold your core in, it is such a great core stabilizing, core strength exercise. Okay, quickly pick up your weights. Remember, we're supersetting. And last round of those deadlifts. Oh. 
I know you're probably getting a little tired, but really watch your form. Make sure your weight is evenly distributed over both sides. Try not to favor one glute or hamstring over the other. That's really easy to do. 10 seconds left. Let's finish. Great work. Drop one weight. Actually drop both because we're going down to the ground for those glute pulses. Okay, take one leg, extend it back behind you. Flex that foot and pulse it up to the ceiling. If your wrists are getting a little tired, feel free, drop it down to those elbows. This changes the, this changes the angle of your glute activation ever so slightly. So you're gonna have to lift your back leg a little bit higher if you're on your forearms, but you still get a really good burnout in this position. So feel free to drop down if you need to. Keep that core tight. Okay, stand up quickly. We're supersetting with goblet squats. So take that wide stance, hold that dumbbell right up to your chest, squeeze the dumbbell, roll your shoulders back and squat down and lift back up. Make sure that your knees directly over your toes. About 10 more seconds left. Drop your weight. This is our 15 second rest. Make your way down to the ground. Glute pulses on the other side. Okay. Extend that leg back, flex the foot, raise that heel up towards the ceiling. Six inches up and down there. Either tap your toe when you're ready for a break Drop it down to the elbow, try not to fall over, and get back to it when you're ready. About 10 seconds remaining. Hold it up there. I know your thighs and your glutes are probably burning. Pick up your weight and finish up strong with those goblet squats, okay? Wide stance, legs turned out, tuck your tailbone, suck in your core, drop it straight down, straight back up. Imagine that there is a string from the top of your head all the way up to your ceiling. Okay, 15 seconds. Ooh, feels so good. All right, last one. Let's take it down to the ground. We're doing those glute up and overs. Okay, Ooh, extend it back, lift that heel up, up and over. Straight leg the whole time. You can also take this one down to your forearms. Control it at the same time as you're moving your leg. Make sure your lower back is also super strong and not collapsing. 
stand up quickly, grab your weight. We're headed into kettlebell swings, okay? Ooh. Nice stance. Take a couple of reps to get into your momentum. Remember, it's more of a moving from the hips and your knees follow. So it's not, it's definitely not a squat down, swing and extend. It's more of a hip hinge. And as you push your hips back, your knees bend too. Okay, 15 seconds, 15 seconds here. Take it back down to the floor for your glute up and overs on the other side. So for me, that's the right. Straight back leg, tuck your core, lift up, over, tap, and bring it back. For modifications, of course, you can drop it down to your forearms, or you can try this in standing but it's not going to be as effective as this kneeling position for sure. I just realized that I didn't introduce the forearm modification during my first round. So I'll be sure to edit that in with the workout previews. So my apologies, sorry about that guys. Okay, kettlebell swing, last 45 seconds. We've got this. Careful standing, I know you're probably a little tired. Remember, sit those glutes back, the knees will bend. Keep those heels on the ground. This is such a great cardiovascular exercise too. Less than 10 seconds. Keep swinging. We've got it. All right, slow your dumbbell. Drop it. Take another quick sip of water. Then come back and join me for this cool down. I'll see you soon. All right, team, we made it through a really, really good strength portion. It's time for our cool down, so take it down to the ground. 30 seconds on, no rest in between, and no repeat. So we're gonna go straight through. It's about five minutes long, and then we'll earn our earn. That was not even a word. We will earn our workout complete. So let's finish up. 10 seconds is on the clock. We are doing a hip rocker, so you wanna take a nice, Wide stance, knees out to the side. We're gonna rock back, almost into a child's pose position. Open up those hips, take the right hand, slide it forward, left hand, scoop it underneath. Okay, rock forward, switch sides. Left hand slides up front, right hand, thread it underneath on the ground. This awesome stretch is called thread the needle, okay? Kind of next, we've got a seated hamstring. So pick your favorite hamstring stretch. This one's mine, pretty simple. Left leg in front. My hips are facing or in line with this leg. My toes are flexed and I am leaning forward at the waist, not the upper body. And my hamstrings are super tight, so I don't get a lot of range. Okay, let's switch sides. Hopefully your hamstring flexibility looks a little bit better than mine because it looks like I am barely doing anything. Coming up next, we've got a cobra or 
almost an upward dog. So on your stomach, keep your hips in contact with the floor, hands placed underneath your shoulders. Tuck your elbows into your body and engage your shoulder blades, bring them back and down. As you open up the chest, open up those hips. Stay here, bend one leg back. For me, that's my right leg. Reach around, stretch out that quad. Okay, slowly let that go and let's switch sides. Next, you're gonna roll onto your back, bend up the right leg, take you the left, cross it over the right knee, let that hip fall open, and pull that right thigh towards your chest. This should give you a really, really thorough glute stretch on the left side. Okay, slowly come out of that and go ahead switch sides. My hip on this side is so tight that I feel this, even the leg that I'm not stretching, which sometimes you get that. Okay, we've got two more. Drop both legs, keep both knees bent, and you're gonna slowly rock your knees and drop them from side to side. These are almost like windshield wipers, uh, but you're really just rotating your lower body while your shoulders remain in contact with the ground. This last one is my favorite. You're gonna reach your arms and legs long and stretch out the whole front of your body. Take a couple of deep breaths. and slowly make your way up to a seated and eventually standing position. I just wanna say thank you for joining me on this pure strength workout with Superset. I hope you like the formatting. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you would like to see again from us in the future, as well as new formats or combinations that we have not tried yet that is on your wish list. We'll see you again soon and have a great day. Workout complete.